Okay, Florida United team, it's your division manager, Jeff Gambon, coming at you here on Wednesday. Uh, first of all, happy 4th of July early, uh, and happy holidays to everyone. Hope you have a safe and fun holiday, but more importantly, hope you have a selling holiday. I'm going to talk to you about that in just a second. But first, we have our national sales report. I want to recognize our top people uh, from Florida United representing our national sales report. Uh, first of all, if you take a look at the total new business sales, uh, we have the number 15 high branch manager, uh, Mr. Mason Linker and the St. Pete team. Number 13 high branch manager Ms. Nap in Naples, Miss Mila Amy. Uh, number one branch manager in the nation, Paige Weber from New Jersey, $47,000 in sales. Uh, in new business, the number four high office in the company, Metro Miami, led by Andrew Evans. Outstanding work there. Uh, also, number one in new business, our number one new district manager, Mr. Luke Maseka with the Boca Del Rey team. Uh, Mr. Andrew Evans representing our uh, the district team race at number two in the entire company with new business. And then as far as divisions go, uh, you guessed it again. We're, we're all over the report here. Uh, number two in the entire nation for just the Florida Caribbean side. And then if you add in the Gulf side, uh, we're still just shy of number one, uh, number two organization, all of Vector Marketing. And then here's the number you want to add and share with your customers, by the way. $6.5 million. That's how much Cutco was sold this past week. And if you're looking to go national and get on my radar for the national sales report as a rep, uh, the number 20 high rep was Carter Webb out of Beaverton, Oregon, $7,600 in sales for the week. And then Coleman Drag, number one, uh, $14,000 week out of Columbia, South Carolina. So I just wanted to start off with the recognize the national sales report. So here we are on the 4th of July, technically on the 3rd. As you're wrapping up your phone jam, as you're going into the holiday weekend, a couple things to keep in mind. Number one, four on the 4th. And... You know, I can't emphasize enough that it's such a buying season, specifically on the 4th of July. You know, strategically, we have our SC2 push that comes right after the 4th because of the buying atmosphere, the buying mood, the people in a, in a positive mood. And they're also eating lots of food and preparing lots of food for barbecues and holiday. So we just, we experienced tremendous increase in sales. So number one, who can you see on the 4th? In fact, most of our offices are having a morning phone jam on the 4th to drive same day appointments. Your managers have one interview for the day. And just, again, people are home. It's really easy to get a hold of people. And if you're going to a barbecue or picnic, can you pull a couple of family that you don't see a normal to the side and close some sales. In fact, I know many of your offices are doing a local four on the fourth or have a grandy on the fourth contest. Uh, talk to your manager about your respective fourth of July contest for your office. But as you can see on the WhatsApp and your managers will send this out, there's a region contest for one, two, and $3,000 in sales for this week, and everyone really should be on it. $1,000 for the Santoku, $2,000 for the hunting knife, $3,000 for both, and one, two, and 3,000 gets you one, two, and three chances respectively. We're giving away televisions, we're giving away AirPods, uh, we're giving away Yeti uh, coolers. It's gonna be awesome. So make sure you're in the drawing, and I wanna transition that to our 10K Alliance. You know, this is Momentum Week, and everything we do on the 4th, everything we do through the weekend, you know, you being in the contest is a big indicator of the momentum you're gonna have into 10K Alliance, and specifically for SC2 Push. So here's my quick checklist for those of you that are excited about the Alliance. Uh, number one, if you don't know about the Alliance or if you've heard about it at the SLDM, make sure you get a one-on-one -on -one consultation with your manager. They wanna walk through, you know, what the Alliance entails, how the positive pressure, the circle of influence, and the coaching can help you, and then more importantly, it's just something that you can take advantage of to get the most out of what can be your cut through college career, the most out of the month of July, the most out of your income, or just the most out of the job in general. So talk to your managers, but if you are on the Alliance, here's what's important, number one. Do you have your skill set drill for skill? Are you getting approved for your respective clothes with your customer, uh, with your manager rather? Are you closing on the kitchen system, aka the new homemaker? or you're closing on the small, medium, large, but you have to get approved for which one from your manager. Number two, you're working on your attack list, 150 to 200 by Sunday. Uh, that's a bare minimum, and you wanna make sure that you're working, whether it's a workshop tonight at your team meeting, whether it's going back to mom and dad, getting directories, you don't wanna show up to Sunday without 150 to 200 plus minimum. And talk to your manager about any help that you need on that. Number three, making calls for the weekend. So here, I wanna break it down. Our phone jams are gonna be on Sunday. Arrivals, uh, depending on your office, anywhere as early as 11.30, all the way as late as 12.30, one o'clock latest. And you have to talk to your manager about the time of your start. But what's important is that you don't show up 
at zero with appointments. In fact, I would say you want to show up between five to 10 appointments minimum already set for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday before you show up and then get another seven to 10 to 12 at the phone jam all day, by the way. And that should put you in a position for 15 to 20. Okay. Uh, we're recommending and, and in our pilot, we've got people making calls from six to eight on on Friday and then another round from nine to 11 or nine to 12 on Saturday all in an effort to book big big demos, but you wanna go into the Sunday phone jam with five to 10 minimum, and then come out with 15 to 20, okay? Uh, that leads me to my third point. We have a big contest for 15 to 20 plus set. Your manager will post this uh, on the television or share it on your WhatsApp, but here's what we're giving away. If you get 15, 15 set for the uh, push, leaving the phone jam, you'll get one chance. 20 set for the push, leaving the phone jam, you'll get two chances, and here's what we're gonna give away. We're gonna give away a drawing on Monday, traditional cheese knife, a four piece flatware set, the butcher knife, the drop point hunting knife, and the basting spoon slash mixture as one contest. So we're giving away a ton of cut for everybody. So make sure you're in the drawing with 15 to 20 plus set. That's pretty easy. And then the last thing is we start our alliance on Monday. Believe it or not, the summer conference to the SE2 push is here. It starts on Monday. It's gonna be the most epic battle between Florida United, the Carolina Division, the Georgia Division, the Coastal Division, the Florida Atlantic Division, and the Virginia Division, uh, culminating at SC2 in Atlanta. Make sure if you got invited, you get all the details for that. But our first Alliance session starts on Monday. It'll be from 7, a 7.30 sharp start. And then at eight o'clock, I'll be hopping on Zoom to the entire division to share some thoughts, um, some, some instructions, some perspective, and of course, we'll do our drawing for the Sunday Phone Jam, okay? So guys, have an outstanding Wednesday night. Thanks for your time. Congratulations on our national report uh, representation. And let's have a big momentum week. Stay on my radar. Make sure you keep texting me. Talk to you guys soon. See ya.